Hey, Clint, this is Adrian Gomez. Uh, just getting into this. Sorry, sorry, it took me so long to get back to you. Um, apologize. It's been it's been a little nuts with with the um, traveling lately. I got my kids in the background as well, so I apologize. So. So out of the back leg, he's not squatting as much as he should. So he's really staying almost straight legged. And what I'd like to see is I think his back leg could get down to about here, if not further. I'd, I'd like to get maybe close to 100 degrees um, somewhere in there. So he's really going to have to sit um, back as far as he can. Now, Part of the so this is power to the back leg. He's really got to work on that, um, and you'll see a huge difference in velocity. Um, many guys, you know, obviously tell you that he's got to throw with his back leg, but don't have the system to to help you do that. Um, so part of the part of the struggle with the back leg is number one, his chest is going forward. So when his chest goes forward, he can't go back. But if his chest stays up it's a little bit easier for him to sit. So that's that's going to help with that. Out of his back leg, he's driving. He's driving into this angle, which this angle right now is at about 85. But if he squatted further, um, we, I'd like to get him his front foot out to there, about 106 degrees, which could even get improvement out of that. So uh, the big thing is that his front leg needs to drive as far as he can. Now, he can't drive hard if he's not squatted. And if he's not squatted, he can't drive hard. So so that's that's one thing. His heel's popping up pretty well. Um, and let's look at his front knee as he plants. So when he plants, you can see this front knee. Let's see here, watch where his foot drops. So his foot is kind of facing this way. I'd like to get it a little bit more towards your target. And let's see this front knee. So his is actually his foot comes back to make sure his front knee comes into place. And you can see it from this side. It actually sucks in, which is good. It's not bad. So it's it's internally rotated. What that means is his knees inside of this ankle too far. So when that front knee is internally rotated, it's hard for his back hips to come through. Uh, so let's let's see his back hip comes there, but it stops, it stops, and then instead of his hip driving through, you watch where his back leg goes. His back leg goes off the trampoline and lands there when his hip should have come through and his back leg should come up. So in short power to the back leg his foot his back foot is actually facing this way i'd like to see it face inwardly that's going to help that back leg squat there's a lot of positive things that are going to happen out of that um so three three big 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 ones um out of the front uh, of the lower half that need that need work um let's look at posture at ball release see his posture so he's what we call a B posture. And when you see him start here, he's far in front, and then he has to drastically change his chest and his head to hit that spot. Um, what I'd like to see him do is sit more back there, and I'd like to see him, and you, you can see out of this, he's not staying back and this is what we call stacking his upper body his his head needs to be over that rubber his knee needs to be inside a little bit and his upper body back when he does that so he needs to stack out of that he's going to be able to minimize his head movement and maximize his velocity so he's doing a lot of good things um, but they just need to be reworked a little bit and I, I, it's it, I'm excited to see the difference is uh, once he starts doing the drills. So, so posture, ball release, just remember he's a, he's a B posture. I don't want you to change him. Leave him at that position where he releases the ball. 
and when you retrace it, make sure he's not so hunched over and he stays back a little bit. That's going to help a ton. So stacking out of the, needs to stack a lot better. Um, and like I, like I said, the upper body needs to stay back, and he needs to squat more off that backside. That's going to help a lot. So stacking is huge, uh, huge improvement that we need to work on. Also, when his chest goes forward, there's a lot of our arm drag. The arm's dragging back. There's a lot of stress on the anterior shoulder, which is in the front. And we, we need to make sure that everything's opening up on time. Part of the reason why the front, the backside's not opening up on time is that front glove. The front glove actually sucks down and the front shoulder is not not supported. Actually, this, this side looks pretty good. He's actually getting around that front side. So I, 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 would, I would look closely at that. The, the higher his front glove can stay for a longer period of time is going to help him rotate into that. Um, so that's something that I want you to look at. That, that would be maybe a caution on the, on the a front glove, um, but, but that's going to that's gonna help a lot. So next one is the chest extension, which I think it's right around here. It's a little blurry on the back side. I can't see his arm, but it's about 32 degrees. And what I'd like to see him do is about 48, 48 degrees. Um, that's not a ton, so he's got to get you know, down to that line. He's got to drive that front line. Part of the reason is that front knee needs to be pretty solidified, a little bit more solidified than it is, and then that chest can make that, that reciprocal action going forward. So, all right. So chest extension there needs needs some improvement. Let's look at right here. I'd like to see more directly in front of him. It helps a little bit more on the angle, but as of right here, his elbow is not high. As he, as of right here, it, it elevates a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be. A drastic change. I want to be about 180 degrees off the elbow, off of the shoulders, and I think you. I think he's doing a good job. So that's that's not a big issue. Um, the last thing I want to work on and, and look at. So um, see how his arm kind of straightens out, and I know it's a little bit blurry, um, but you. You want to make sure that the elbow stays bent so that he can push his thumb through and get that get this rotation. Basically the thumb's gonna go this way. And then this this elbow's gonna stay bent. And the longer it stays bent, the faster the wrist comes through, the faster the hand comes through, and there's the less wear and tear on the on the elbow and the shoulder. So we wanna make sure that his thumb goes through and he and he's and he's getting through that a little bit better. Um, so, um, so as a recap, power to the back leg, double leg at, at foot strike, so that extension, um, front internally rotated front knee, the front knee sucks back pretty well, um, no issue on that. Um, power to the back or uh, posture, is that a B posture? Just remember that, so don't hunch over as much. Um, what else? Front glove, just watch it. It's a caution. Um, the arm, arm. Arm drags a little bit because his chest is too far in front. Um, no high elbow as of right now, but once I get a direct view and straight out in front, that, that's going to help me a lot. Um, it's what we call an arm fly out. His arm straightens out, so that's an arm fly out. You can find that on our on our um, video library. And uh, the chest extension from 32 to 48, I think we need... That's 16 degrees difference, and it's not much. It's two or three inches, but slowly but surely, we'll get that done. All right, so that's about it. So thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it, and uh, please please don't hesitate to call um, and let me know, and thanks so much for being a part of Tutorial of Athletes Online Program.